Hey everybody, CBQ here from Greensy, back with another edition of How It Works, where we explain how our product works, diving in deeper detail to help you understand how to make the most out of autonomous mowing. Now today, we're talking about the validation process we follow at Greensy to make autonomous mowing software work. The reason it's important is that our customers have a job to be done, and downtime means lost revenue, and uptime means higher revenue with more efficient mowing on jobs. So how exactly does the software that our team of 25 as of this filming engineers and PhD roboticists and validation engineers, system software, all get on the mower and get working? Well, it starts with a software development process used by the best companies in the world using the best tooling in the industry. To show the full life cycle, let's take a feature, a new process developed for our customers from start to finish. How does it go from begin to end? Now, a feature is always developed into our full robotic stack using tools like simulation, where we can run the mower over various maps with obstacles, terrain, and even simulate things like outages or dirty sensors. Once the code has been developed, it's put into something called a pull request, which is a way for our team and the automated tooling to take a turn at validating what it does, what it does what it's supposed to do. Our continuous integration and development servers on the cloud run tests to validate everything from style, which is critical for safety systems, to how it will impact the base user case of mapping and mowing. During the PR review, other engineers must review and validate, and we're very critical. Our tooling even suggests other developers who may be better to review based on previous code in the same area. Next, we field test, which means we run new software in the field to flush out any bugs or anything on even how it's presented. Once it's reviewed, any changes are requested, approved, and merged into the main code base, it goes through another round of automated testing. And then it automatically goes into staging in what we call our experimental package server, where it's built and deployed to a test fleet of mowers that we use internally. Now, our validation engineer and robotic technicians are always out mowing most days. We're actually subcontractors to our customers. So we mow real fields using our software. We eat our own dog food, goes the saying. Now there's one more validation test in which we shake down the full set of features before a big release. Uh, we call them version numbers, but there's a big checklist. And if everything passes, and if and only if, going to production is now very easy as it's just a button press and we know what will happen. But before we even do that, we package up, we discuss the full release, and we send out quick text message updates in English and Spanish to all of our operators. Now there's one more fun thing we do that we stole from Facebook, who probably stole it from another engineering company, and that is we run code in production regularly alongside the current code to validate it even further. This means some features are actually already deployed, silently collecting data before we flip them on. These are sometimes called feature flags or a run in production process. Now there's a lot more we do on the software side to validate that autonomous mowing works as hard as you, our customers, do but rest assured, this is the process now, and it's constantly getting better. We didn't invent most of it. In fact, we just put these engineering practices to use. Okay, that wraps us up. As always, let us know in the comments what you would like to see us explain how anything about our product works.